day after day this week, we have introduced you to people who have unique stories of why they run as they get ready for that big yeah. race this weekend. But yes, just about any one of those thousands of racers who will line up after months and months of preparation, they'll tell you their journey to the start line is hidden in the souls. Inside a box, wrapped behind the crinkles of training and the laces of life, there are souls. They meet at the start line. Worn by weeks of training, they tell the story of that light at the end of the tunnel. They get you there. Can I grab some shoes for you? Consider A.J. Herbal from Gazelle Sports the originating author. There is a right shoe. Every day, for each customer, it's a different story. Same pen. While you're trying this on, we want to make sure you have enough length in the toes. Uh, we also want to make sure you have enough space width-wise. He makes everyone walk barefoot after measuring their feet. A hug is okay, a squeeze is going to be too much. To diagnose if they pronate, supinate, or what kind of injuries they're dealing with. The truth is, as long as they're not in any pain, they're, they're okay. Um, but the, the interesting thing is, you know, if they're like, oh, I'm experiencing knee pain when I run, that's a perfect candidate for maybe a little more stability. And while they all look flashy on the wall, wearing the right product is important. They all mirror each other. So for the most part, when you fit somebody, you find that category that they fit into, and then they can shop any of the models in that category. The shoes, AJ says, shouldn't be noticeable. You shouldn't have to think about your shoes when you're running. He recommends at least three or four near race distance runs in new shoes before race day. Just ask Crystal Landry. Two miles in, you look down, you see red on your shoe, you know it's not going to be the best day. But no matter the shoe... You'll probably notice a comfort difference almost immediately. ...or the endless boxed-up stories of why we run... Oh, it's like for a spin. ...to reach that light, that finish, it all comes back to one thing, the souls. Truthfully, it's will. A lot of will to get you to the start <laughs> line, to get you to the finish line. And like Crystal Landry, that was 2015, he couldn't catch Jared Ward. Uh, bleeding in the shoes. He had tried on if a I new didn't pair. No, I would have thought that they out. were built that way. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, because they all kind of look like that. Yeah. Uh, Herbal recommends you replace your shoes every three to seven hundred miles too, depending on how often you're running. Okay. Yeah. It's good advice. And Wood TV, of course, is your home for the Riverbank Run. Teresa and I will be here starting at five o'clock Saturday morning and we'll shift to our race coverage before the start of the first race at seven o'clock. You can follow along for complete coverage on woodtv.com.